and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The Word of God that I'm sharing with you today is from selected places in the Bible as I'll be sharing with you some of the many themes in our Vacation Bible School. So please, you may now be seated. Well, we did have a great Vacation Bible School last week. Over 400 children. Over 400 children, plus about 150 of you as volunteers. We're here to hear the amazing love that Jesus has for all of us. The theme for our Vacation Bible School this year was life is wild, but God is good. God is very good. And the theme took place in the continent of Africa. Today I want to share with you, because it was such a great week, some of the amazing themes that we talked about. There were five specific themes. And the first theme came from the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7, when we read, The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. You know, a refuge is a safe place. And there in Africa, many of those animals are often hunted for their horns or for their animal skins. It's a very dangerous place for animals, actually, in Africa. And so what people have done is they've put together these refuge, these safe places where the animals can be and no hunters can go after them. In a way, that's the way God is for you and me. When we go through our times of trouble in life, God is a refuge. He's a safe place where we know we can always turn to know that we're loved and to know that someone cares about us. In the book of Exodus in the Bible, the people of Israel, they were going through a very difficult time. You see, they were slaves to the Egyptians. And their lives were very unfair. They had cruel taskmasters who made their lives miserable. They had the worst of work conditions. It was a terrible time. And here they heard God's promise that he was still with them. God, you see, was their refuge in this very difficult time in their lives. And we talked a lot about the major statement, when life is unfair, God is good. On the second day, our second theme came from the book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 4. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close to me. In the book of Exodus in the Bible, the people of Israel, the people of God, they were going through some really difficult times. You see what had happened, they were slaves for many, many years, and God raised up a man named Moses. And God wanted Moses to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt to a wonderful new land that he promised to give them. The problem was the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, wouldn't let them go. He didn't want to lose all his slaves. He didn't want to lose his workforce. He didn't want them to go. So God sent ten plagues upon the Egyptian people. It was a terrible time to be in Egypt. I mean, some of those terrible things that happened were the Nile River, uh, the water turning to blood. And they had uh, cattle disease where so many of the cows died. They had gnats and flies and all kinds of terrible things. And through that all, God continued to be with his people. You know, we have scary times in our lives, too. We have times when uh, we have sicknesses, sicknesses that don't go away. There are times we lose loved ones to death. And there are times we have people do some pretty awful things to us. And that's why it's important that we know that we too have a God who's always with us. And we talked about quite a bit, when life is scary, God is good. The third theme we talked about came from the book of Psalms, again, chapter 106, verse 1, where it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Again, we spent a lot of time in the book of Exodus. And it was finally time for God's people to be able to leave Egypt. They were heading out from their 
comfortable, if you will, setting where they knew what, everything was going to happen every day, heading off to a new land. And as they were heading off, life really changed for them. Because every day they would go a few miles and they would have to live in tents. They'd have to pick up their tent at, 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 in the morning, put it down every night. Lots of changes from living in a, in a home. And then they didn't have a whole lot of food and a whole lot of water because it was desert. It was wilderness that they were crossing. So God provided them food. He gave them manna. He gave them water to drink. And they realized very quickly that it was God who was going to be taking care of them. That God was the one who was protecting them from enemies. He was protecting them from the wild beasts. And we also find that to be so true in our lives, don't we? We too go through a lot of changes in our lives. Think about some of the changes you've gone through. Maybe you've had to change jobs. Maybe you've changed places to live. Maybe your family grew with changes. And through all those changes, God's with us too. And we talk quite a bit about when life changes, God is good. The fourth theme we talked about came from the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. In the four Gospels of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we have the great story of Jesus. We have the story where Jesus was on this earth, but then he had to suffer and die on a cruel cross. He died so he could forgive our sins. It was a sad day when Jesus died. It was a sad day. Many people were giving up all hope. Everything was terrible. Except for three days later, as you and I know, Jesus rose from the dead. And when he rose from the dead, he had conquered death, and he made it possible for everyone who put their trust in him to have eternal life in heaven. You see, that was the greatest news we shared last week with all 400 plus people. We shared with them the truth that Jesus died on a cross to forgive all their sins. Everything they'd ever done wrong could be forgiven. And little children needed to hear that because there's a lot of people that tell those, these children they're bad and they're no good. So we made it sure that they knew Jesus was not like that. Jesus had forgiven everything they had done wrong. And then we told them the great news that because Jesus rose from the dead, they're going to overcome death. And one day they're going to live with Jesus forever in heaven. You know, that good news is for you and me here today as well. You are forgiven of all your sins, every one of them. You know that when you leave this earth, you're going to overcome death. You're going to live with Jesus forever and ever in heaven through your trust in him. It's the greatest news in the world. And we have to get it out to everyone we can. We talked about quite a bit when life is sad, God is good. The fifth theme we talked about this past week was taken from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, verse 14, where we read, Remember the Lord who is great and glorious. We learned from the book of Joshua that when it was time for the God's people to go into their new land, jo Moses wasn't going to lead them in. Joshua was going to lead them in. And when Joshua led them into the new land, as you can imagine, he looks over and he sees this beautiful land after crossing from the desert, going through miserable times. He sees this great land and he's excited and he wants to celebrate. And so what Joshua does is he gets some stones together and he makes this memorial. He makes this big statue memorial to thank God for bringing him across the wilderness. And then they have this great big worship celebration where they honor and thank God for the many blessings he gives to them. Today we're here with a great worship celebration. And we do pretty much the same thing, don't we? Every week we gather together to celebrate with our God, to thank God for all the wonderful things he's done for us. I encourage you to think about the blessings God gives to you. Start with the alphabet, with the letter A, and go to Z, and I'll bet you can think of many, many things that God has blessed you with. Yes, God has been really good to us. 
And so we close with the wonderful thought, always remember as well that when life is good, God is good. It was a great week. And all I can do is thank every one of you for making the week possible. It is not a, a minor event to try to share this great news with over 400 children. It's not easy to put together the whole, uh, the whole gamut for that, but you made it possible through your gifts to the Lord and through the resources you bring. And I only can imagine, as you can, there's going to be some children someday in heaven because of you. And that's exciting to think about. Some children one day will be in heaven because you all as a congregation made it possible for this very exciting week. May God continue to bless each and every one of us as we continue to share this amazing love of Jesus. Amen. Let's now stand as we sing together the next song of...